right, so we're going to be using our Snowscape team. It mainly features our Frostlass, Alolan Ninetales, Crawdont, Weirdeer, Avalug, well, he's suing Avalug, and Empoleon. So I'm going to bring Weirdeer, Alolan Ninetales, and I'm going to bring Frostlass. I'm going to bring Crawdont first, mainly because it has Hyper Cutter. And I feel like if we can go for a Dragon Dance R2, then we can start hitting everything for insane amounts of damage. I feel like he's going to lead with the Tyranitar. So this is going to be a Weather War because he wants to have Sandstorm up. I obviously don't want that. And I want to have Snowscape up. Amarouge. Okay. Oh boy. I'm gonna boost that uh annihilate. Oh no, he's not. Defiant? Crazy. I'm gonna tear a water and I'm gonna go for a dragon dance. And I think I'm gonna go for I think I'm gonna go for a hypnosis in Armor Roche. I might not even have to use the Alolan Ninetales if I can help it. I haven't used Crawdon in forever. And we're the fastest thing on the field? Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Seed Bomb. What? That's not good. That is not good. I can go for Razor Shell. Let me go for Psy Shield Bash. Hopefully this is a KO. Yeah, we go down to Seed Bomb. That's unfortunate. Dragon Dance Crawdon died before he could even do anything. That's disappointing. I'm actually surprised that the Armor Rose is faster. But then again, we don't really have much speed in Weird Deer. I think I can bring Frost Lesson. We have Snow Cloak on Frost Lass, so if necessary, we switch in the Alolan Ninetales. Oh, he brings Garchomp. Mm. I think I just go for Frost Breath and I switch into Alolan Ninetales. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Also, I preserve the Weird Deer Intimidate. Also, we have Snow Cloak, as I said. So, we can potentially dodge attacks. We do take out the Garchomp with Frost Breath. The thing about Frost Breath that I like over using Blizzard or Ice Beam or anything else is the fact that Frost Breath always crits. Which is nice. No, there goes the Tyranitar. Mm. I, I kind of expected it. I don't even know. I kind of expected it. Yeah, I kind of expected it. I'm going to go for Shadow Ball into the Armor Rouge. I'm going to switch into Weird Ear. Like I said, for me, the huge priority here is getting rid of that Sandstorm. And as long as I can take out the Armor Rouge, he shouldn't have any other Pokemon he can switch into. 
And Intimidate is going to lower the attack, so that's going to help us potentially live an attack from Tyranitar. Not really. Frostlass is pretty uh, frail. Shadow Ball does decent damage. And we get the special defense drop. That's nice. And he's still asleep. Oh, we eat that well. Oh my Jesus. We eat that pretty well, not gonna lie. I'm gonna go for another Shadow Ball. We're gonna pick up the KO and Armor Rouge, and we're gonna switch into Alolan Ninetales. And with Alolan Ninetales out, we will have Snowscape, we will have a defense boost to our Ice types. Potentially, I'm hoping Snow Cloak activates and we dodge a Shadow Claw. That I mean, that'd be the best. That'd be the best. Is it gonna happen? I don't know. With my luck, it probably won't. My disappointment will be immense. But I love Frostlass. I think being able to actually use it on a team is really, 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 really good. Because you don't get too many opportunities to do this. He terrestrializes. Terra's fire. That's not going to save you from a Shadow Ball. You're not going to wake up. And you have a special defense drop. You need to take all of this into consideration. You're not surviving this, bro. And how dare you have a trainer name called These Nuts. You're about to catch the, the L of a century, I tell you. The L of a century. I think we go for Will-O-Wisp. And I'm gonna go for Dazzling Bloom. Oh, decent damage. So he's burned, he's intimidated, and he's in snowscape. How much damage can he possibly do? Nothing. That's the question. And he has that disabled. Oh, God, no. That's a shame. That's a shame. I mean, it's not really a shame, but... That's a shame. And therefore, Tyranitar goes down. I'm actually surprised that we lived the Shadow Ball. I mean, not the Shadow Ball, but the uh, Shadow Claw. Then again, Intimidated, Burned, and in Snowscape, where Ice types get a defense boost. That's pretty nice. I, I really like the fact that they buff Hail, aka Snowscape, to give Ice types something. I mean, just having a hundred percent accurate blizzards is one thing, but also it doing some type of residual damage was pretty decent, but not compared to like sandstorm giving rock types, steel types, and ground types special defense boost. And not nowhere near that. I do wish that they kept the residual chip damage each turn for snowscape that hail had and that sandstorm has but i think it's a good trade-off to have a defense boost for an ice type in the snow so can't complain <clears throat> okay we're gonna be battling rex they have a coma o they have a torterra a galarian wheezing a snorlax a Milotic and a Chandelure. Okay. Well, I think I can lead off with Frostlass and Weird Deer. I can threaten the Weird Deer going for Psycheo Bash into Glare and Weezing to either take it out or have him switch it out. And then I can bring in my Alolan Ninetales. But even without the snowscape up i think frost last can do pretty good i also think i'm gonna bring red lobster because he doesn't like red lobster i've only been a red lobster once and it was good but i was a kid i was a teenager i didn't even really remember what i had i know i had like lobster 
Oh, one of these days I'll go back to Red Lobster. Okay, Coma O and Torterra. Okay, that's good. We get the double Intimidate here. Into both. I mean, Torterra can be special, but most of the time people don't run special Torterra. I'm going to go for Frost Breath. We should pick up a KO on Torterra unless he Terras into something that resists. Question mark. But we're bringing in Alolan Ninetales because I don't see the Galarian wheezing anywhere. So, hopefully. As long as I can set up Hail or Snowscape, then I'm good. We successfully get it off. He switches the Terra type for Torterra. Uh, no. He knew. Grass. Oh, that's not going to change much. I mean, it will, but it won't be quad super effective, but still, it's going to hurt. Decent damage. He goes for Flash Cannon. We eat that pretty well. And he goes for Bullet Seed into me? Oh, that does nothing. Your attempts at fighting are pathetic. I mean, you can have a loaded dice and it won't change anything. It won't change anything. I hope you know that. I'm going to go for Frost Breath and I'm going to go for Dazzling Gleam. This is going to destroy Como. Quad super effective, stab, Dazzling Gleam. I mean, the only thing that sucks is that it's spread. Also, why do I have this Alola Ninetales? This isn't the one that I originally had he withdrew coma oh because he knows what's coming and he brings out snorlax mm, don't care and he withdrew torterra mm, i still don't care and he brought out wheezing baby boy i don't think you understand that it's a little too late to bring out these pokemon look at that damage Weezing will be a problem. So I'm just going to go for a War Reveal. Okay, he protects. Eh, it's, it's not good. But it's not the worst turn that could happen. Frostlass is putting in a lot of work. Frost Breath is in and of itself an underrated move. He heavy slams the Alolan Ninetales. I'm kind of disappointed, but it's not that bad. I think the pressure of having Frost Breath is more than enough. We do get the Intimidate off. And this should help us a little bit, but not by much. Now I'm going to go for a Psy Shield Bash into the Snorlax. I'm going to Terra. Also, I just noticed my Intimidate still went off. So... He doesn't have Neutralizing Gas? Why? Why? <laughs> doesn't Weezing... Even normal Weezing gets Neutralizing Gas? That's a shame. Well, now the wheezing is definitely gone. We do decent damage to the Snorlax, and we get a defense boost. I'm okay with this. He heavy slams the Frost Last. Mmm. Kind of was hoping that we would dodge it, but it's fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Uh, oh, he didn't bring out 
Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. I was worried he was going to bring out the Torterra, and I was not going to be ready. I'm still not ready. I'm going to go for a Psy Shield Bash into Snorlax. And we're going to go for a Dragon Dance onto Crawdon, aka Red Lobster. To be honest, we're about two matches in. And Crawdon has not been having a good time. He's been destroyed every single time he tries to go for Dragon Dance. So I'm pretty sure my opponent knows what's up. Oh, no. I'm getting another defense boost. Oh, that's not fun. That's not fun at all. I'm just going to KO the combo. I think I have enough defensive bolt that I can survive an onslaught from both Como, not Como, but Torterra. Clanging skills? Oh no. Special Como, I mean mm, no. I get what you're trying to go for, but no. So now you have only two physical attackers. I have an unrealistic amount of bulk. And then on top of that, I have a berry. Yeah, I'm not letting you put me to sleep again. That's not gonna happen. So, um, let's talk about this. I actually forgot I had a Lumberry. I thought I was gonna have to fight through sleep. Oh my god, that's actually really good to have a Lumberry. Those are Bullet Seed. I, I think I eat this. Yeah, I think I eat this, maybe. Oh, uh, this is gonna be close. What? No! Oh, no. No. Okay, we are going to be battling Rex. Just a disclaimer, we fought Rex before, and it came down to Torterra going for a Terra Grass Bullet Seed and getting a crit on Weird Deer that had three defense boosts, and it was under Aurora Beal. I'm not too happy about that. Also, I'm not too happy that my weird deer got outsped by that. My weird deer is way too slow. I think we save Red Lobster in the back. Honestly, Red Lobster has been having a really rough day. It's been one shot one too many times in the past three to four matches. It hasn't really been able to capitalize on a Dragon Dance hitting a crab hammer, hitting a stab knockoff. It hasn't been able to do anything. And I'm a little frazzled. But one thing I know going into this match now is he doesn't have neutralizing gas. And as long as he doesn't have neutralizing gas, then I can set up wherever the hell I want. So I'm going to Terra Ice into the Alolan Ninetales. I think he was expecting me to bring Weird Deer and get a competitive boost on the Milotic this time around, but that's not going to happen. 
and I will not let this match be as close as it was last match. So we missed the frost breath. That's sucky, but it's all right. Freeze dry should KO my loading question mark. No, okay. But we do get the freeze. That's all I needed. Uh, that's all I need. My loading can't do anything. And if he tries to go for a poison move, it's not gonna be super effective. Okay, that does hurt. I don't think we have to worry about the Milotic right now. I think we can double into the Weezing. Because I just don't like that Heat Wave. Nope. Yeah, no. Let me just tell you something right now, buddy. This rematch, I came prepared. The Milota can recover all at once. It's, well, I mean, it will matter, but... Yeah, I don't think it will. I actually don't think it will. Kinda depends on what he brings out. Como. Mm. Okay. I think we go for the Dazzling Gleam. I just can't risk it. We go for the Dazzling Gleam and we go for the Frost Breath. We do miss the Frost Breath, which is unfortunate. Get it together, Frostless. I was hyping you up at the start of this video and now I'm really disappointed. You're making me look bad. My Lodic is still frozen solid. Good. Good. That's all I have to say. Good. And he has Chandelure. Mm. No. How about no? I could go for the freeze dry and I could go for the shadow ball. He's gonna probably terra fire. If I was him, I would terra fire. He's not gonna tear at all. Oh, we brought it down to Sash. Okay, click and dazzling gleam would have worked here. Only thing I can hope for is he goes for heat wave and snow cloak kicks in and we dodge. That's the only thing I can hope for. He goes for Shadow Ball. I respect it. I respect it. But now we bring out Red Lobster. Mm. I am just gonna go for a freeze dry. A freeze dry and a knockoff. And the chandelier goes down. Like I said, I was not gonna let this rematch be nearly as close as the original. My get back is really strong. I'm not losing that badly a second time. I mean, I don't want to lose it all, but now that I knew that he didn't have neutralizing gas, that was just green light. Green light to lead with Alola, Ni uh, Alola Ninetales and Frostlass, easy. Easy.